So, have any of you had COVID? I'm lucky as I haven't. Mind you, I went to get my vaccination and then went and got another one the next day. Just to make sure. I also went back the following month for another one. Then I went to a walk-in clinic for my booster. There were five walk-in clinics in my town. Can you believe it? So, to be fair to them all, I got a booster from each one. Have any of you tried to see the doctor for any other reason? I did. First, I had to phone the surgery and explain to the receptionist what was wrong with me. Then the doctor had to ring me back just so I could repeat what I told the receptionist. He told me to ring for an ambulance, which I did, only to be told to ring for a taxi. On the way to the hospital I got him to stop next to a defibrillator as my heart attack was getting pretty bad by this time. Eventually we reached accident and emergency only to find that the queue was 6 hours long. After eventually speaking to the receptionist and booking myself in, I was triaged by a nurse, only to be told I was having a heart attack. After another 4 hours I was eventually seen by a doctor who gave me a clean bill of health as the heart attack was now well in the past. He told me that if I had any more problems I was to ring for an ambulance. I love living here in England with our wonderful NHS. A friend of mine was a doctor. Actually, he was an endoscopist. He'd been in the job for 20 years before deciding he wanted a change of career with better hours. So, he trained to be a car mechanic. He sat his final exam after doing all the training and was really confused when he got 200%. He asked for an explanation and was told, the first part was taking the engine out and taking it apart, which you did perfectly, so you got the full 50% of the marks for this. The second part was for putting the engine back together and putting it back in the car. Again, you got top marks of 50%. The other 100% was for doing it through the exhaust. I had an endoscopy once, not by my friend, I should add. The endoscopist's name was Dr. Gently. When I was lying on my side just before the procedure, the doctor said to me, don't worry. It's quite normal to get an erection. I replied, but I don't have an erection. I was talking about me, said the doctor. Thank you all. And thank you all to our wonderful NHS. See you later alligator.